Hey guys, VBED here with another V plays, and we are flying the 262 HG2. Uh, we're still trying to grind through this aircraft and get that tier 10 HG3, especially with these new bombers coming into play. And I'll tell you, even with just two of these tier 9 bombers in this game, you're going to see a couple of JU 287s. It definitely is a lot easier to stay at higher altitude, and I wanted to kind of emphasize that and show that to you guys. Trying to get used to these guns again. This is the first time I've flown this airplane in a while, but I am pretty far along in the grind, and I'd really like to just kind of burn through it if I could. We isolate this first target here, put a few rounds into him, but what I'm really interested in is going to be that F-86 that is a specialist. He's really fast, very maneuverable. I'm going to assume the pilot is very good, and we're going to try and put some damage into him. We fortunately took the sight, but now that I know that I have good airspeed, I have good altitude, I'm going to use that to my advantage. He's chasing me, so I want to get a little bit of distance, wait to see him turn, I see him turn. We're going to do an up and over, yes this will put me outside of my optimum altitude, but then that means I got some height advantage, so I can start using the ability to kind of dip my nose to get a bit more acceleration out of the airframe. We're not quite to our service ceiling, so it's all right to level off here a little bit. And just look how quickly we're able to attrit away the health. It almost lags. The game almost lags registering the amount of damage we just caused. Javelin's coming in here. We're going to take advantage of these air to air rockets. That's enough to be able to knock him out. Sure, we lost a tail, but I'm really just a boom and zoom aircraft anyway, so turning isn't going to be that important. We see our first bomber target here. Want to get that air speed up. Line up on this aircraft. We got good range on these guns, which is good because moving at this type of closure rate, we want to make sure that we can get these to hit. I actually want to slow the aircraft down to make sure that these are making good connection. And we got to pull a lot more lead because these JU-287s are moving at nearly 500 plus miles an hour. So we really want to make sure that we're getting that effective lead. So that was my first time engaging a 287 with this aircraft. And even here, I'm still trying to get those ranging shots in, get that lead. And some people talked about, hey, you know, the tail gunners are really vicious on this aircraft. You're right, they definitely can be, uh, but with a heavy fighter intercepting, it should be a lot easier to take advantage. Release some rockets here, and oh, apparently we didn't connect enough of them because that guy managed to kill us with just a graze from what was probably his vertical stabilizer. Go ahead and get the aircraft back into the battle here in about three seconds. We do have the center military facility, which gives us a bit of an advantage. So we'll go ahead and beeline back in there. I'm going to let my teammates know that I think that this area is important by doing a little cue of let's defend the military base. But oh, by the way, we should probably go after this F-86. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to ping again because you can only ping so many times on the map. So go ahead and get a indication there. I'd like to put some shots in this javelin because I don't want him to think that he can mess with me but I think he's ignoring me at this point and I got some revenge to go grab. We've zoomed in because we know that we're just kind of coming in for a stern engagement here and I want to make sure I can hit this guy at range since we're not closing that fast since we are in a pretty much a stern chase. Good contact, took him out, Vincent Cesars. And we've got another bomber to go after here. We're coming up from underneath, but I'm a little bit worried that if I go for that bomber, I'm going to have to contend with a Javelin that's coming straight at me. Thought I could get another rocket run in on him, but he's not interested. The 262 isn't very maneuverable either. Uh, we're trying to maintain a bit of a lower speed here, so we got a smaller turn circle. Not necessarily a faster, but a smaller one so we can get inside the Javelin's turn. And I'm trying to burn in on him and maybe chase him down. And I may eventually catch him, but... He's not coming for me anymore, so I can go back to my original objective of trying to go after some 287s and get some nice HP knocked out here. Again, we're taking a lot of fire from those tail gunners. 
But while it feels very intense, we are able to get the damage out and take that aircraft out effectively, safeguarding this military, or excuse me, mining plant. There's no more bombers here, but we do have an IL-40P that's at pretty low health. I would love to come down here and give him a little bit of the cannon firepower here. But unfortunately, it's not enough, and it was time to start pulling up because we're well over 600 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and pull around in a horizontal turn and get at this aircraft in another kind of stern conversion. Looks like the Yak-19 just took down the other ground attacker, which was a German equivalent, a 1099B2. We're going to use the momentum that we had originally to get ourselves back up to our operating altitude, and some of our boost is going to help us get there. We do have the cooler on this, so if we really need some airspeed very quickly and their boost is low, we can get 10 seconds of free boost out of that. Yak-19 is pretty low hit points wise overall, so we're able to get some good damage on him when we manage to knock him out. would like to help my ally here who's in a dogfight. We did a nice brushing pass, knocked out the engine, caused some pretty critical damage. Hopefully that gives him a bit of a leg up to defend himself, but I have bigger fish to fry, so we're going to start gunning towards this other aircraft. Managed to take out that more dangerous threat, another 262 HG2. We finished what we started over here with the J7W3, and I still have a few options here to go after. I think I'm going to go after this Batwing over here. He is doing a bit of a wobbly roll maneuver here, but. We're able to get enough shells on target to be able to take him out. We're at 789. This game's pretty much over. I realized this at about this point, so I decided to throw a good game up there. And overall, a pretty solid match. I really enjoyed this battle. I think it kind of shows how much fun it can be to be able to maintain that altitude advantage and really be able to take the damage to the enemy, especially with the... Uh, addition of all of these new bomber aircraft so it really kind of emphasizes what we were talking about in our previous videos go ahead and get to the end results screen here we did pretty well for ourselves we got a decent amount of experience for our times two for the day and it was overall a joy to fly so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll be catching you guys on the next one thanks for watching